this week on episode two of my vlogmas i am back in california just spending loads of time with my family going thrifting and just doing some of my favorite things with my favorite people i really hope you enjoy this episode and don't forget to leave a like and comment below Sterling right now. I'm taking Harper on a walkie. Say hi. It's early in the morning, Harper. We gotta be nice. Can you be nice? <laughs> Harper, be nice. Harper! Harper! To give you some context, I grew up sharing a room with my younger sister, Sophia, and it's kind of felt like old times. I've been staying with her and will be staying with her for a month while I'm here. Um, honestly, I have just been taking my days here super slowly and it has been exactly what I've been needing recently. Not having a job is like one of the most stressful things and I didn't realize how stressed I have been until coming back and just being able to sleep in, have slow mornings and slow days, just curling up in the corner with a book, hanging out with my family and my dog. It has felt so good and exactly what I've needed during this time. Isn't this a cute mug? Welcome to my second Vlogmas. <laughs> Vlogmas is such a weird word, but I decided to challenge myself and put out a video every Wednesday and Sunday in the month of December or like leading up to Christmas. But anyway, it's Wednesday. I'm kind of losing track of time because I'm not working. But yeah, I just woke up, made my coffee, having a chill day. Um, usually I will like journal and I actually started this really good book. Let me show you. Hi. My brother just saw me vlogging and is making fun of me. <laughs> um, but I started this book. It's called The Defining Decade, Why Your 20s Matter and How to Make the Most of Them Now. And I think this is a really good book for this time of my life, especially while I'm unemployed. Um, anyway, I'm like only on the first or the second chapter, I think. I had to finish editing last night, so I like couldn't keep going, but I could have just kind of kept re reading through the night. Anyway, I'm having a chill day today. I don't really have any major plans. I might go to a cafe. Um, it's hard though, I think I said this in the last video. I don't have a car, so can't really go much many places, but it's kind of fun to like walk around. So maybe I'll go for like a little walk and like pick up a drink or something. But anyway, I thought we could just like hang out for the day or something. Has anyone ever heard of Berkeley? I feel like some people have heard of it because of the university and some people just haven't. If you haven't, it's right across the bridge from San Francisco, so. Also, actually, I don't know if we're gonna do this today or tomorrow, but I think we're gonna decorate the house for Christmas and bring the Christmas tree in. Because we have this live Christmas tree over there. I've been making some super tasty recipes recently and sharing them on my Instagram, so if you're curious, make sure you go follow me over there for some weekly recipes and vlogs. Why 
why do I find it so challenging to spend a day reading and just kind of chilling? <laughs> I feel like I'm always trying to, I mean, especially right now, apply to jobs, but like be doing something. And sometimes being quiet is so nice, but sometimes I also feel guilty for just sitting down, having a cup of tea, and enjoying my book. Um, I think this is something that I've noticed in American society is just the workaholism. It seems like when I was in Germany, I was an au pair in Germany, for those of you who don't know, and when I spent my time over there, it seemed like people enjoyed life so much more over there and really enjoyed their leisure time. So this is something I've been trying to do when I've been back home, is just really enjoy my free and quiet time, which I find super hard. I don't know if that makes sense, but maybe someone can relate to that. Okay, this year my mom got two live trees we also have one more on the deck and we're gonna put three Christmas trees right there um, we got all of the boxes Christmas boxes and now it's just decorating time okay, I'm gonna decorate with my mom what do you think do you like them high five yeah drinking my coffee out of one of my favorite mugs and waiting for Brianna to get here. I met Brianna in Santa Cruz and we used to surf all the time together and now she's coming up to Berkeley and we're gonna go thrifting at the Goodwill bins. I'm so excited to see her. I'm so excited to thrift. Hopefully we can find stuff this time. <music> Okay, we went to the bins and I thought I would do a little mini thrift haul and show you what I got. She's doing TikTok right now. First thing I got actually was this sweatshirt. I got it the first time we went to the bins. Sophia found this vest actually. And it's been really nice because it's been super cold here so I'll wear a sweatshirt like this and then put this vest over it. Everything at the bins is $1.50 per pound, so so cheap. Next thing I got was this Big Surf's hoodie. I kind of wish it didn't have this star here. It was just like this, but still cute. I really like the blue color. Next, just like super random stuff is this shirt. It's just Brandy Melville. I don't really have a lot of long sleeves, so I thought this would be a nice addition to my closet while I'm here in California. This I got for Hawaii. I think it'll be a nice beach cover up. And then this shirt, just I don't have a lot of t-shirt type shirts. I have a lot of these like these crop tops, which are nice, but just sometimes very impractical, especially when it's colder. So I scored some Lululemon leggings. These are size 10 though, so I might sell these on Poshmark or something. Two more things. First thing is this sweatshirt. I thought this was way cuter when I saw it. I don't think I really like it that much anymore. I tried it on and it just doesn't fit that great. And I found a stain here. So I think I honestly might pass this along. Then, last but not least, I've been looking for a belt for so long that fits me. I think this is a little bit big, actually, so I might have to punch a hole in it. Yeah, this is too big. So I'm gonna have to punch a hole. Anyway, that's it. All my stuff. It was so cheap, like $1.50 per pound. Super fun to go because they just bring out these bins and you just like rummage through it. It's a tiny bit gross, but like as long as you bring hand sanitizer, it's fine. And like obviously wash your clothes 
these have all been washed before I like tried them on even. It's totally fine and it's so fun because it's $1.50. So I don't know why I always touch my hair when I talk to my camera. Do you want to say hi, Sophia? Hi. I'm crashing in her room for a month while I'm here. I hope you enjoyed the second Vlogmas. Make sure to stay tuned. I'm posting one every Wednesday and Sunday. So I think that'll make about like six or eight videos. So more coming your way. I might try to do more active things while I'm here, like go for hikes and stuff. So maybe I'll include some of that content, but if there's anything you want to see, like recipes, workouts, all that stuff, let me know. And that's it. We're going to go grab some pastries from Berkeley Bowl. It's raining a lot. Okay. Okay, here's the morning buns. They're so good. We kind of grew up eating these. And then I grabbed some blueberries. Hopefully they're crunchy. Ooh.